to pick up where we left off with the lawmakers with the DHS um, Disinformation Governance Board. Uh, you worked at DHS, uh, CISA did some disinformation work. What's your take on the pausing of this organization? So first of all, I, I think it is a con continuation. Can you hear me? Just make it for me. Yep. It's a continuation, um, first and foremost. Um, what we, what I did while I was at DHS as I was working on this dis and malinformation as it pertained pr particularly to what Representative Slotkin was talking about in terms of foreign interference on our elections, on our democratic processes. And that was important work and, and that work needs to continue because we can't allow foreign adversaries, we as a country can't allow foreign adversaries to unduly influence things that are important to us as a country. And we have to take um, information, bad information seriously as a homeland security risk. I think what the department was trying to do was enhance the structure by which um, they were going to deal with bad information as a homeland security risk. And particular areas that, that I think DHS still needs to do more work on under what name, whatever name they want to call it is, what is our strategy for um, making sure that disinformation does not lead to violent activity and cause attacks on the homeland? That has to be an element. I don't think the department has enough attention on that strategy. I don't think the administration does it at, at this point. And so working on that strategy, um, other areas that are important, making sure that that strategy accounts for privacy and civil liberties. And, and one of the things that I know the department was trying to do through the board was take into account the protections that need to be in place to protect privacy and, and civil liberties. And the third area that, that remains important is coordinated ways of the government working closely with social media companies to take down inauthentic foreign activity or activity that would is intentionally entire, um, designed to incite terrorism. And so those are areas that are important. I don't care what you call the structure. I agree with everyone who says that the Disinformation Governance Board was perhaps an inartful way of doing that. But but I, I do think it's important that the Department of Homeland Security takes these issues seriously. I think that the administration takes these issues seriously as a homeland security threat. Um, another thing I got an opportunity to do a lot while I was in government is talk to our European allies who have dealt with this firsthand and the structures that they were putting in place to deal with this, particularly the European allies that were dealing with a more active threat from Russia, the, the Nordic countries, Finland and Sweden, um, what the UK was doing, what, what France was doing. And you see these countries setting up new structures, setting up new processes in, in developing strategies to make sure that the Russians and others can't cause harm to their national interests through disinformation. That's what the department hopefully will continue to, to try to figure out the right way to do. Congress should be involved in those discussions. It should be done in a transparent way, but, but we need that strategy. 